Welcome back to Mastering Podcasts and Video Interviews from Geek to Guru. I'm your host, Kurt Sasso, your guide to creating captivating content for both podcasts and video interviews. In today's episode, we're unraveling the art of structuring your podcast and video show episodes. We'll explore the basic framework that ensures your content shines and we'll sprinkle in some bonus tips for creating engaging beginning and unforgettable endings. So stick around. Let's start with the basics. A well-structured podcast or YouTube episode follows a simple yet effective formula. Your introduction. Begin with a brief introduction to your topic or guest. Hook your audience with an intriguing question or a teaser of what's to come. An example of this is if you've ever watched Hot Ones on YouTube, Sean always starts each episode with a tantalizing introduction, teasing the spicy challenges ahead of the guests that they have on stage. Main content. Dive into the meat of your episode as quickly as you can. This is where you provide valuable information, insights, or entertainment. Keeping it organized and engaging is really the key to having a fun time on your own show. And for those watching as well. An example of this is take a cue from last week tonight with John Oliver. John dives deep into a main topic each episode, delivering a mix of humor and in-depth analysis. But there's a variety of different styles as well you can do too with your main content. You have Jimmy Kimmel, you have Jimmy Fallon. If you look back at older episodes, you have Craig Ferguson, you have Johnny Carson, you have Oprah, you have a variety of different styles for your main content. So choose what works best for you. Number three is segments or interviews. If applicable, break your content into segments or conduct interviews. This adds variety and keeps your audience interested. An example of this is the Joe Rogan Experience or the Mark Mare on WTF podcast. They're both known for long format interviews, which often span hours, explores various topics with his guests. Number four, engaging opportunities. Encourage audience engagement. Ask questions to the people that are listening or watching your show. Read the comments that the audience actually leaves in your channels, whether it's through your podcast or your video interviews or your YouTube channels. Be engaging in that respect and then share user submitted content or questions. That adds more engagement and other people who comment on the actual episode may look to become showcased in future episodes. Who knows what content they'll bring to your show. An example of this is Good Mythical Morning. Ray and Link often involve their audiences in challenges and taste tests. They create interactive experience, which is always wonderful for those that want to spend time with their creators they love. Compelling conclusions. Summarize the key takeaways or highlight the most exciting moments of your actual show. Tease your next episode or upcoming content as well. An example of this, Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad. They were famous for its epic conclusions at the end of every episode that really left the viewers eagerly awaiting the next episode. There are five easy steps to make your content truly unique, but this depends on your own creativity. Speaking of which, number one, creative elements. Infuse creativity in your content. Use humor, storytelling, or unique visuals to set yourself apart. An example of this is Carlos Rudella's short comedy sketches, mostly about a barista in a Starbucks dealing with customers, but he also does various other content as well too, which could be considered more vlogging content, like gaming shorts. It's a great example of creativity using video content as well as a distinctive editing style for that style of comedy. Number two, personal touch. Interject your personality into your episodes. Being authentic and relatable is better than putting on a face in front of a camera. Your audience will connect with you a lot more. A couple of examples of this are talk shows. You look at the Kelly Clarkson show, you look at Oprah, you look at Ellen DeGeneres, you look at other shows along that line that thrive on making it warm and personable and relatable to the guests that they have on the show and have fun with it as well too. And it just makes the viewers that watch these shows feel at home. Number three, audience interaction. Engage with your listeners or viewers, respond to comments, run polls, and make them feel a part of your community. A great example of this is Mr. Beast. On YouTube, he's built a massive following with so many different channels with a variety of content because he involves his audience in his challenges and his charitable initiatives. Number four, thorough research. You have to do your homework. If you thoroughly research your topics or your guests, and you provide valuable insights and information about them as you're asking your questions, it really makes things a whole lot more relatable to the people that are watching this, and maybe they'll learn something along the way. 
A great example of this is Neil deGrasse Tyson's Star Talk Radio, where he combines expertise in astrophysics with thorough research to educate and entertain. And the final tip of this actual segment is compelling storytelling. Not everyone can really be a storyteller, but you do have a story to tell. And storytelling is a really a powerful tool. It allows you to weave compelling narratives into your episodes to captivate your audience. And an example of this is the show Serial. In its first season, hosted by Sarah Koenig, it became a cultural phenomenon due to its gripping storytelling style. With examples. Bonus time. Let's explore the keys to crafting captivating introductions and unforgettable conclusions with examples. An engaging introduction has five parts. You have to be able to hook your audience, introduce yourself, state your purpose, set the tone, engage the audience. Now, what does hook your audience mean? Start with something attention grabbing, like a thought provoking question, a surprising fact, or an intriguing anecdote that relates to your topic. Introducing yourself is you briefly introduce yourself and your show. Let your audience know what to expect and why they should listen or watch. Stating your purpose is clearly state the purpose or goal of this episode. Let your audience know what they'll learn, discover, or gain by listening or watching to this episode. Setting the tone really just is about establishing the tone of your content. Is it informative? Is it entertaining? Is it inspirational? Make sure your tone aligns with your audience's expectations. And finally, engaging your audience. Encourage engagement right from the start. Ask questions, invite comments, or share relevant stories to connect with your listeners or viewers. I'll read an example of an introduction, then I'll give you a highlighted version of what the hook is, where the introduction was, what your purpose is, what the tone was, and of course, how to engage the audience. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to achieve their goals while others struggle? Well, you're in the right place because today on Achieve Your Dreams, I'm Kurt Sasso and we're diving into the secrets of success. In this episode, we'll explore the strategies that can help you unlock your full potential, achieve your dreams, and live the life you've always desired. But before we jump into it, I want to hear from you. What is your biggest dream or goal? Share it in the comments below and let's make it happen together. Hooking your audience. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to achieve their goals while others struggle? Introduce yourself. I'm Kurt Sasso and we're diving into the secrets of success. State your purpose. In this episode, we'll explore the strategies that can help you unlock your full potential, achieve your dreams, and live the life you've always desired. Setting the tone. But before we jump into it, I want to hear from you. What is your biggest dream or goal? And engaging the audience. Share it in the comments below and let's make it happen together. There are five main sections to a good outro or a compelling conclusion. Summarize key points, which is recap the main takeaways or highlights of your episode. This helps reinforce the key messages for your audience. Call to action. Provide a clear call to action. What do you want your audience to do next? It could be subscribing, sharing, leaving a comment or a review, or visiting your website for more content that they may not have seen. Tease upcoming content. Offer a sneak peek or teaser of what's coming next. This keeps your audience excited and encourages them to st and stay connected with your show. Express gratitude. Show appreciation for your audience. They're there watching you entertain them. Thank them for listening or watching to your show and let them know you really value their support, whether it's by subscribing, liking, sharing their content, or even if it's monetary, if that's the case as well. End on a memorable note. Leave a lasting impression. Consider ending with an important quote or an inspiring quote to you, or maybe about the episode itself, a memorable story, or even a powerful closing statement that resonates with your audience. Here's an outro conclusion example. So there you have it, our journey into the secrets of success. Remember, it's not about where you start. It's about where you're headed. Before we wrap up, hit that subscribe button and join our community of dream achievers. In our next episode, we'll be diving into the stories of individuals who turned their dreams into reality, and you won't want to miss it. Thank you so much for being a part of Achieve Your Dreams Now. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Summarizing key points. So there you have it, our journey into the secrets of success. Call to action. Before we wrap up, hit that subscribe button and join our community of dream achievers. Tease upcoming content. 
In our next episode, we'll be diving deep into stories of individuals who turn their dreams into reality, and you won't want to miss it. Express gratitude. Thank you so much for being a part of Achieve Your Dreams Now. Your support means the world to me. And on a memorable note, I can't wait to see you next time. If you follow these key points for both the introduction and conclusions, it'll just enhance your overall experience, not only with yourself in creating the show, but keeping your audience coming back for more to come. And there you have it. The basic structure of a podcast or YouTube episode, along with some bonus tips for crafting irresistible introductions and conclusions. Remember, your content is a canvas and with the right structure and creativity, you can paint a masterpiece. Thanks for tuning into this particular episode of Mastering Podcast and Video Interviews from Geek to Guru. If you found this episode insightful or helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more insights to enhance your content creation journey.